Here's my 1975 XB Falcon Utility. It's a genuine GS Falcon V8. It has a um, 351 cubic inch engine V8, four speed top loader manual, and a nine inch diff. It's got thin drum brakes on the back, disc brakes, ventilated disc brakes on the front of it. And this is how I normally keep it. It's undercover in the shed. And we'll be getting the cover off shortly and having a close look at this car. Here it is. The cover's been taken off. This car's undergone the full back to bare metal restoration which um, can be seen in one of my other videos this is how it currently sits it's basically a GT Falcon in a ute version obviously no GT utilities were ever built by Ford but this is as close as you're going to get to owning a GT ute it's got the um, vented bonnet with the lockdown pins got chrome wheel arch moulds which were only fitted to GTs and, um, and Fairmonts. It is a Falcon 500 GS. I've deleted it with the GS stripe down the side as so I thought it looks a bit cluttered. Instead we've um, added the GT blackouts to the car which I quite like. So we've basically built the GT utility the rear wheel arch moulds were extremely hard to find. They only came out on XB Fairmont wagons. Um, sedan ones and hardtop ones don't interchange, they're a different shape. So they were a little bit hard to track down but well worth the effort and part of the GT ute theme. Going along with that same theme we've got um, chrome Door top moulds fitted to the top of the doors. Again, these only come out in GTs and Fairmonts. And no you at these from the factory. I've also fitted the original dealer sticker. This particular ute was um, sold in Queensland originally when it was brand new. Another GT feature that I've added is a uh, flip top. GT style fuel cap and these on XA and XB GTs are normally a brushed chrome type finish. I've painted this black as I thought it suits the car a lot better. Just press the button there and it flips open. Refill your car and that's that. Here's the grill on the car. It's got a XB GT style grill. It's got hella driving lights. These were factory fitted to XB GT Falcons and they were an optional extra that could be added to the GS pack. So some GS Falcons had these type of grills. Some people believe they were factory fitted to GS Falcons but they were not the standard fitment, they were just an optional extra. It's time to have a look inside the car. It's got some great features inside it. It's only got two seats. Now I've chosen the Fairmont GT style trim on the seats. We've used the original factory material. The door trims again, the Fairmont GT door trims. It's got a centre console, four speed manual. And the entire dash is also a GT style dash with the padded glove box lid. It's got a factory style radio there and it's got custom gauges, custom style gauges with the custom fascias in the dash. A closer look at the dash, it's got a 240 
5k speedo. It's got a fuel gauge and a temperature gauge. It's got an RPM indicator. And we call it an indicator because I don't think they're that accurate to be honest, even though this one has been calibrated. It's also got a battery and oil pressure gauge. This is a custom head unit, made to look like a factory one. It's got AM FM radio and it's also got auxiliary input for um, MP3s. It's got a clock there and amazingly the clock actually works. So it's basically your GT GS style dash but it's got white fascias on the gauges instead of standard black ones. Here's your padded um, glove box and Fairmont GT door handles. Centre console, GT style centre console with the um, original style wood grain insert. Four speed manual top loader gearbox. These are quite a heavy duty gearbox that we even use behind the big box over in America. And um, this particular one's been fully rebuilt and works like a dream. One of my favorite features is the um, original GT style Fairmont style steering wheel. These are worth a small fortune now and believe it or not if you've got one of these in great condition you can almost sell that and buy a small car for it. Um, great feature on this car. Absolutely love the steering wheel. Love the interior in these. Keep in mind that no XD Ute or any other you would have had an interior like this fitted to it. This is basically a GT interior fitted to a ute. Let's have a closer look at the door trim. It's got the GT style, Fairmont style trim with the armrest. Again, these are very hard to get these days and quite expensive to find a good one. This car's had a fair bit of money spent on it. But once you drive it and the attention it gets out in the street, I think it's well worth it. The time has come. It's time for us to have a look underneath the bonnet of this beast. Let's see what works underneath. I've kept it quite standard looking. It's got a 351 cubic inch V8 or 5.8 litres of metric speak. It's got a four barrel carburetor, two V heads. So it's basically an XB GT style motor. It's got a little bit more get up and go than your standard GT. Power wise, we've got no um, actual power figure for this particular motor. It has not been dyno tuned, it has not been on the dyno. Um, I have owned XB GT Falcons in the past. I've had one as a daily driver back in the day. And this certainly goes a little bit quicker than the old GT ever did. So it's got quite a healthy engine. It still handles peak hour traffic conditions with ease, doesn't overheat, doesn't cause any problems. It normally starts first turn of the key. When the time comes, I'm planning to have it dyno tuned and um, we'll actually be making a video about this car getting dyno tuned at um, RPM Motorsport in Sydney. Um, Steve at RPM really knows the stuff and he's probably one of the few people I trust to actually work on my cars and this is not an advertisement for RPM Motorsport. But if you want some work done on your classic Ford, Steve would be the man to see.
there you have it. XB GS Falcon Ute, 351 Cleveland, 5.8 litres of V8 power, four speed manual, nine inch limited slip diff. It's a great car to drive, it's got plenty of power, great classic. In the next video, we'll be doing a startup and we'll be taking this beast for a drive. And as mentioned previously, we'll also be doing a video when this car gets around to being dyno tuned at RPM Motorsport. Thanks for watching.